Tuesday, the 12th of September, 2022, I mean 2023. I said that the other day too. Leaving out of Watkinsville, Georgia, heading south on Georgia Highway 15. Yes, and that was the intersection back there in Watkinsville with the traffic at 1.30 in the afternoon. Many times it's backed up well past this uh, railroad track. That was a 441, 129, I think Georgia 22 and Georgia 15 intersection and we're going down 15. It is about 130, I don't know what the temperature is. This video is mainly going to be about what's going on over here on Flat Rock Road in Oconee County. Um, there is being something sprayed on, sprayed or injected in the fields that is apparently makes stuff grow, but that um, doesn't smell very good. Okay, it's 90 degrees. I thought it was supposed to be cooler this week, but um, normally I think it's really funny when uh, city people move to the country and start complaining about the smells of the farm and this, that, and other. I think it's just hilarious that they're finally getting a little bit of a introduction into what it takes to put the food on the table that they love to eat so well. But when you have people that are born and raised in the country and have farmed all their life, when they are complaining about a smell that is so horrible that it's making them physically sick, it's time to check it out. Now, I know absolutely nothing about this process, so I'm not going to get on either side either way. I'm just going to present this as what I know or what I've heard. And it'd be nice if people share it. Um, I'm going to put this video on YouTube. I have uh, subscribers on over 39 countries, people that watch over 39 countries and all over the U.S. And let's see if we can get comments from them if they know anything about this. Evidently, it is coming, it is a liquid coming from the processing plants. I don't know if it's chicken, hog, or whatever. Um, I've been saying it called renderings. Now, I don't know if they're taking all the scrap pieces, little pieces, and somehow another liquefying, grinding it up and liquefying this stuff, or whether it is just a rinse from the, you know, from the process. I, I don't know anything about it, so. But we're gonna turn left here on Flat Rock Road. The years ago when Flat Rock was dirt, the entrance was about another 100 yards up the road there. They paved it and they brought it down here. I'm not sure exactly where this process is taking place, but there should be two big blue tanks out in the field where it's happening. I will mention briefly that um, down here on the left in the corner of McCree Gen in Flat Rock, there's an old building there. It used to be an old McCree store. I have got the safe out of that store now and have just received the combination. I've got a few ledgers from the store. I know there are plenty of other ledgers out there, but I don't know who all has them. But um, I'm going to be making a video of opening the safe and seeing what's in it and letting people check out the ledgers see if maybe their family may have purchased something from the store of, you know, a hundred years ago. But anyway, and that, that is right down here on the left. But yeah, I don't, anything, anybody knows anything about this process, I mean, if it's just hearsay, we don't need comments. I mean, somebody knows something about it, some kind of expert. Uh, you know, apparently it's legal in the state of Georgia and legal in Oconee County. So the landowners should be able to do what they want to do with their land. I don't, I don't know. I have. I, said, I don't have any dog in this fight. Not anymore. Used to anyway. But um, I just want to present this and let people think what they think or react and comment. You know, this, this little store is right down here. This is where the safe came from. Or unless the safe was in the house that was on the other corner over there. Where that new house is there now was the old home place for my 
father and all of his brothers and sisters. My grandfather built that house for his first wife and family and when she passed and married my grandmother, the daddy and his brothers and sisters were raised there as well. And farming is a hard life, folks. I, um, in the early 40s, uh, during the war, Daddy said he borrowed $4,000 to plant cotton. He was older and didn't get drafted. The other brothers were already in the service. He borrowed $4,000 to plant cotton. There was no farm subsidies, no crop insurance. Bull weevils ate up the cotton. Couldn't pay the $4,000 back, so lost a lot of this land we're riding back down through here. Lost a lot of land and uh, had, to, had to get out of farming. I looked up $4,000 in today's dollars, it'd be something like $85,000. So borrow $80,000 to plant crops and then uh, can't pay it back. Okay, getting back to our primary objective. Yeah, there's Johnson Methodist Church. Almost everybody out there in that cemetery is related one way or another. must still be out here where I still call the Flat Rock Loop. Um, they paved this much later. My cousin Marty Brown has made some comments. I don't know. I, you know, I just don't know about this stuff. I don't know what's good, bad, or ugly. So I don't even know if I can smell it. Let's roll down the windows and see if we can smell whatever it is. If we even see it, I don't know.
Cheers. Some of the old plats I've seen, there are a couple of McCree graves out there, but they've probably been plowed under and done away with by now. Now, I was thinking they were 
talking about the Flat Rock Loop, but I didn't see anything back there. about whether it's being sprayed or injected into the ground. I think one of the comments said it was legal in the state of Alabama too. I, 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 you know, I need to know more about this and I'm, saying, I'm not going to get on either side of it. I don't know. But we're, we're right here at that little store too. father used to plow with mules out in that field. Yeah, the safe is either from the house that was right there on that corner that burnt several years ago or either this door right here. And we will be having an opening and uh, some pictures and video of the ledgers with names and commodities they purchased and prices. And we'll see what's in the safe. Be like the Al Capone or the uh, Michael Thevis safe.
Okay, well, I guess we'll get up here, back up here to uh, Highway 15. We'll turn this video off. We'll post it on YouTube and see if we can get any other information from counties, states. Yeah. 